the monthlies. Hope you've been well. Today is another favorite video for September. I have a few things, few exciting things for you. Um, September was the month that I actually got my freckles tea tape, so it's very very exciting month for me. Um, I will just show you the whole. So freckles tea came on September. Um, there might or might not be a whole video up by the time this video is up, but if it's not up yet it will be up next i promise so it will be up this month um but basically this is the freckle c um set and they're really really gorgeous tape you guys um i expected it because freckle c always comes with my favorite tapes um this time my favorite is this citrus one which is very gorgeous lots of like really warm orangey tone but it's not very very it's quite muted so it's not very like in your face kind of orange it's so beautiful this one these two are actually my favorite as well but this one is the one that i've been like obsessed about and used everywhere i can so this is the one that goes into my my favorite this time but the rest of them are lovely as well and this is just an intro because i will go through each of them on the whole journal where i did anyway so i will post that probably next after this video but let me go through just this one because this one was the one the standout for me and i just really love it it has a lot of citrus and flowers but oh the color is so lovely and there's some of them that's green as well and the whole tape is just really nice has it rolled over yet yeah so that's the end of the loop but there's a lot of these really nice white flowers as well that i really really like um and yeah everything is so lovely and great and i don't know what else to say about it aside from just like you know frequency make the best tapes in my opinion I really love how the loop is quite long. This one is 100, but some of the tapes have 200 meter loops, which means you, you're getting so much um, variety of flowers. So I just feel like it's just really gorgeous. And also the thing with Freckle C is, I'm gonna repeat it again, even though I said it five, six times in my whole video probably, that Freckle C tapes are not always available they don't reprint most of the time so if you see them and you really like them you should grab them as soon as you can because they don't reprint and if you miss out then you miss out it's kind of like a limited edition so that's why people get so crazy over um frequency tapes like me that's the reason so that's the pet tape for the month i've been really really loving that one so that's my favorite also, in my favorites are these um, La Dolce Fida tins. It's really, really like cute. Look at the illustration on them. But not only that, the other thing that I really love about them is they fit my Crooking Key stamp just perfectly. Look at that. Like the the t the tallness of it. I'm trying to not let. I'm trying to show it on the side, but I don't want it all to like fall off. So it's just perfect for the size for these mini stamps. And the thing that I love about it, when when I'm um, there's like this little race. I don't know if you can see it, but there's like a little race lip kind of thing, and that fits perfectly on the bottom. So at home, what I usually do is I just have it open because it's easy access for me to use, right? But if I want to journal somewhere else, I can just close off the lid and then carry it with me it's great and they also have like a very cute illustration at the back as well i'll show you the back of this one as well how cute that was and this one also have my other corking key stamps um i don't know i just really like the look of them it's so satisfying to see it side by side so i've been really enjoying having that while i journal but also the idea that if i ever want to journal somewhere else i can just take it with me on the go and it's just as easy as like closing the lids really love that so yeah there you go also when we're talking about stamp storage right on the go <laughs> this is like a very accidental um 
discovery actually because this was a package for some candies that i got and it's like some of my childhood candy so i um, when i saw them in the asian grocery store i was like oh that is so nostalgic so i i went and got it and then after i finished everything and it's empty i'm like actually you know what this will make a really great stem storage so i checked it with what the, the stamps that i have and even the thicker stamp like this is probably one of my thickest stamp because the rest some of them are quite thin right and then there's some that is like the liberi ones are super thin but that is probably one of the thickest ones that i have and even that fits nicely i'll show you i'll show you you with all of this hang on that doesn't really fit maybe i have to do that okay it actually is like perfect like it it still has a little bit of space on the top i don't know how to show it but it still has a little bit of space on the top if you can see that's that's the plastic right maybe like that you know yeah like that there's still a tiny bit of space in between so if you have even like taller stamps then you can um you can use it as well this is like something that really excited me to have found because it's not expensive like the thing was probably like four or five dollars including the candies everyone so because this is just like you know a packaging it's just a plastic packaging but i also really love how i'm able to reuse plastic um because i always feel bad whenever i buy something and it's in ca case in plastic so i make a point of reusing them same as so these are actually from an eye mask i got from kmart but because they're like hard plastic i'm planning to use this to put in my stickers and things like that and um some of the washi um some of the washi tape that doesn't have backing i like to be able to like cut it up with a craft knife and these usually are really good so i just cut it up from the packaging and um cut some round corner so it doesn't like you know accidentally scratch me and things like that because i'm very clumsy so i love being able to reuse things like that so these for me is so winning and the thing is if you have more than one and you want to storage it if it's exactly the same you can just stack it all together and then when you actually go out to journal or you know if you want to go overseas and you want to take some of your stamps with you and things like that it's just perfect because it's like the size is so perfect to have it and i'm just like how did i how did i not think of that when i actually got it but i actually got it for the candy but it's such a nice discovery so if you're in um australia this is actually product of china so probably you might have it in where your area is it's called whole flakes i'll take picture um i'll put a picture in what the candy looks like so if you want to look for it it's easier for you to find but yeah hopefully this is not an just an australian thing with this packaging because this packaging is amazing i think i'm gonna get myself some candies and eat them so i can have some of some more of the these nice packaging but very very glad to have found that accidentally so yeah that's one of my favorites this month as well even though it's not really stationary but it's storage for my stationery and i just love it so that's that so um speaking about stamps another thing that i discovered a few months ago is something called a stamp cleaner um i know you can get the lawn phone um stamp chamois but um i don't know i just i i am just drawn to this a little bit more because with this one you can you can actually it's i don't know how to explain it but these are like really soft bristles so when you have like a dirty stamp it's one of these dirty you can kind of rub it like that but if it also doesn't work right you can get some water and spray it or even put some maybe eucalyptus oil because that's how i usually clean my stamp with the eucalyptus oil this one doesn't have eucalyptus oil but 
just saying that you can actually spray it with water and then scrub it like that and because there's bristles it gets into the in between these ones i think are a little bit of an old mark so it doesn't really do its job so if you have anything that is not clean and you do that the bristles will go in between so in the end it's quite clean like you can see before it has like some stuff in the middle in the insides in between and that's pretty clean i think if you want to for it to be cleaner even more you can use some eucalyptus oil which i like to use as well and just spray it on that and then just rub it i'm hoping that this can be washed for somehow i'm not sure how to because i want to be able to like wash this so it's not grubby like that all the time you know i feel like after a while it's going to go darker and darker but if i'm able to just wash it somehow maybe maybe i can put this can i put this in the dishwasher it says can be washed directly and reused so maybe i'll try to just wash it with some dish washing liquid and just use, just clean it that way maybe but it's been really good and i like how they it looks like a book it's very thin so i can just put it on my shelf like that kind of thing so yeah that's one of my favorites as well and my last favorite is the um one of the ferris wheel press new ink called um brilliant beanstalk it's so nice you guys like let me show you the ink swatches it's like the my perfect perfect green i feel like like it has the warmth but it also has this really nice gold sheen like it has some gold thing on the bottom if you can see in the bottom and it catches the light very nicely and the color is just so nice i don't know if like it's picking it up correctly but it's like a very warm green a little bit of pastel you know i love pastel because i'm a pastel girly and it's just very very nice like i don't know i haven't I feel like I haven't loved uh, Ferris Wheel Press ink as much as I love this one. It's just the the green is just so nice. So yeah, that's one of my ultimate like favorite Ferris Wheel Press ink. And you know, even though I'm a Ferris Wheel ambassador, I don't always put a Ferris Wheel Press ink every month um, because yeah i just want to make sure that what i put in this favorites video are like my favorites so you know this one is pretty special because it's made it into my favorites even though you sh the other ones haven't so there you go so that's one of my favorites as well so that's all the oh actually i forgot to add something else i also got these two beautiful clips from my journal pages order and i've just been staring at them all day because look at look at how beautiful they are like i don't know it's so pretty the, my only gripe is the back clip is has a little bit of a teeth to it so it might hurt your paper eventually but i think if you put it on kind of like thicker materials it should maybe be okay but the design is very nice i also really love love the gold hardware it just makes it pop a little bit more and i just really really love it so that's the last favorite i have for today so this is my favorites for the month of september um for october i also will still be posting every two ish weeks but i'm gonna try add in a little bit of um video here and there um there might be some surprise videos that you might like i'm working on a lot more of different types of videos so that's why it's taking me a while to get back to my normal schedule but i'm hoping to be in normal schedule again by at least november but um i'm also working behind the scenes for some shop stuff finally i'm ge finally getting some um ideas and things like that i've already released some printables i did a uh, ink ink swatch printable for tns which i was really proud of because it looks pretty good um maybe i'll show you just as a sneak peek well not really sneak peek because it's available already 
but it's these really nice bottles of ink that you can print and this is just because I really like this size so I printed mostly that size but they come in different sizes so this is the 10 in a page there also there's also a two a four a six and an eight in a page if I'm not wrong so yeah there's all different like layouts for you to play around with depending on how big how, or how small you like your swatches to be and um, yeah, I might make a passport one if it, if anyone requests for it. But I just really, really like the layout. I also made sure that the color of the 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 illustration of the ink is not too powering, so you can see it for the color. Because I find some of the ones that um, I've I've seen the the ink bottles are quite dark so i usually want like a light one light gray one so i can so the color just stays out a little bit more but that's preference i guess but i really like this and hope you like them as well so anyway um we'll be journaling with these items next if you the lighting might be slightly different because i'm quickly losing daylight and i might do this another day or i might have to turn on one of my lights so we'll see how it looks but i hope but i hope you stay safe and take care and i'll see you on my next chatty video see you bye bye